Hey, you guys. Today, I'm going to talk about Loving Hip Hop Atlanta Season 7, Episode 5. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me. This has been one of the worst days. Like, oh my God. Like, I keep hit, getting hit with bad fucking news. And then I have tried to record this video like three times and I keep having problems. Um, It's just bad. But we're going to get through it. I'm going to try to stay positive. We're going to get through this shit. So, Tierra and Tommy meets up for Tierra to ask Tommy. Let her know that Scrap is supposed to be getting out early. And she wants to know, is she still talking to Scrap? Because apparently they're going to start back talking. And I'm like, what? What? This is what we doing now? This is how insecure ass bitches do? Like, this showed her insecurity. And if you have to do this with a guy, why are you there, Tierra? Oh, because of the kids. We're going to stay together and live together because of the kids. We're going to fuck them up some more. What about the other kid that you got with the other dude? That's all I'm saying. Because last time we saw you, you were pregnant by a whole nother dude. So, then we hear he's with Malaysia. You was going at it on social media with Malaysia. And I'm sitting there like, well, what? I'm confused. This is why I don't like to follow motherfuckers on social media. But I saw this on, I think, Famous or The Shade Room or some shit like that. So, yeah, I follow them. I don't follow none of these celebrities. But I'm just sitting there like, so this is what we doing. We meeting up with the ex chick to make sure they not still talking. Because we don't trust neither one of them. But we want to be with them. Okay. Okay, dum-dum. Tierra, I Emmy, mean, Tommy, and KK, they not friends. We don't give a fuck. Why? Okay. That was a long time ago. Tommy got some other shit going on. We don't care if her and KK still friends. Rashida and Carly meet up because, I don't know, because she wants to show us that she needs to get back. Rashida showing us that she want to get back in shape. Carly is just there to be cute. Um... But Rashida's talking about she needs to hire this personal trainer and she's doing it behind Kirk's back, yada, yada, yada. And I'm sitting there like, how you doing it behind his back when y'all separated, y'all don't go together? Oh, yeah, I forgot because y'all fake and y'all really do go together. And you didn't want him to know, but he gonna find out type shit. Stupid. Then stop calling fucking Carly messy when you motherfuckers keep telling her shit. Season after season, y'all call her messy, but then every time some shit go on in y'all life, it starts off with... Oh, Carly was there for me when I went through. Even though I know Carly messy, I'm not going to tell her shit. But you just was saying she was there for you. Mm. Yeah, I try to give her this fucked up bad name. But Carly had been there for multiple women on this show. She was th just there for Sierra when... um. Shooter lost his son. She went to the funeral with Sierra and she was there for her. She has been there season after fucking season with Rashida, dumbass. Even though Rashida always want to go in on her because her husband doing some fuck shit and Carly is putting it out there and exposing the shit. But I'm like, your husband, she can't ex expose what your husband ain't doing. Um, But this trainer, Carly is trying to get her to date. She's trying to get her to date, and they looking at this trainer. And I'm sitting there like, this is stupid. This is dumb. But we're going to keep going on with acting like this is the real last storyline, right? So we're going to keep on going with this. We get the press. Because Rashida needs some stuff fixed in her, her shop. She don't want to call Kurt. So that's what she told Carly. So Carly ended up telling the trainer dude to go over to press and fix some shit. I said, I thought he was a trainer. Now when this motherfucker put shit together and electricians and all that type of shit. Okay. Um, but the mama, Rashida mama is all for him. All for him. And probably, you know, when your mama is looking at your dude like that or your potential dude like that, something fucking wrong. I'm sorry. Something is fucking wrong when, mm -mm, I don't want my mama to be looking like she's getting moist over a dude that I might potentially talk to. Weird about? Mm, okay. Um, what else happened? So, yeah. 
Kelsey, 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 Kelsey. You need to talk to your motherfucking daddy. Don't be coming at Rashida about her talking to somebody else when your daddy put her in this situation season after season. Y'all don't go hard on Kirk the way y'all go hard on everybody surrounding Kirk. Everybody is like, he, he the fucking victim. Like, something was done to him. Like, what you mean? I'll be over there telling my motherfucking stepmama as a woman, as a female, girl, go go pop it, go go get some toys, go do what you got to do to get your groove back because my daddy is on some fuck shit as a fucking woman. No, I understand that's her fucking daddy, but wrong is fucking wrong, and you never want to see another woman just go through that type of shit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Even though this was fake and you just... We kind of gave up on Rashida in the storyline because you kind of felt bad for her at the beginning, but then you'd be like, bitch, you keep staying with him, so no. But to me, Kelsey should have been there. And it, maybe it was just me that felt some kind of way when Kelsey introduced um herself as Rashida's husband's daughter. Not her... Her stepdaughter, because that still would have gave an indication that she was with somebody else. Or just her daughter. But to say her husband's daughter, I understand you trying to say that she's married. But like I said, stepdaughter would have did just the fucking trick. I'm just saying. So, Tommy meets up with Jock and Tammy. I didn't give a shit. They talked about Jock being single, Tammy's music career. And then Tommy bullshit with her sister and we all knew that tommy went to that job they called the police like she said they wasn't used to that kind of turn up and i said bitch nobody should be used to that kind of turn up now maybe they happen in families but we shouldn't be fucking used to it or as an adult want to be used to it at the workplace and what the fuck do you expect see when when um tammy said oh we don't call the police Bitch, come to my job. Come to my job where I got to motherfucking make money to pay my rent and see what happened. I don't give a shit about you being my family member. That's stupid as shit. That's the dumbest logic. Now, if we was at the house fighting, no. We don't call the police. Everybody fight it out till the wheels fall off, whatever. You break it up, you get tired or whatever. But you come to my job where I have to pay my rent and bills? Bitch, you going to jail. You can the fuck up on out of here. I don't want my fucking manager and supervisors and shit to look at me like the hood rat you want to be. No, that's stupid. Stupid ass logic to me. But this is up in hip hop Atlanta. Um, so Tommy, let's keep on going with her. She meets up with Spice and they talked about their family situations and F Spice had a problem with her brother. Her brother was the oldest after the parent died or whatever and Spice felt like he should have took on a more leadership role. Tommy told her, you know, as Tommy the older one out of her siblings, it be hard sometimes to take on your shit, they shit and all that type of shit. It be kind of hard. So they both was crying and yada yada yada. They kind of uh, talked about Erica and who know who. I didn't care. Um, what else? Jessica Dime. Jessica Dime is with Dr. Jackie. You know, Atlanta's doctor. Everybody in Atlanta's doctor. Every fucking body. Nobody goes to Dr. Simone. This is why Dr. Jackie is always tired and always overworked and on call. Because <laughs> everybody fucking Atlanta, that's her. She the doctor. She was just Eva doctor on fucking Real Housewives. Like, she's everybody fucking doctor. So, um, she's with her and she's telling her she don't have no support system, really. Sean is trying to get back into basketball, so he travels a lot. She don't get along with her mama. She ain't really got friends out there because she don't fuck with fake bitches. And Dr. Jackie basically tell her she needs to get a support system. So, she meets up with Carly and their wedding planning for her wedding and... Sean had told her that he wasn't going to be able to make it and do this with her. That's why she was with Carly. They kind of talked about family. Um, and 
Then Sean ended up coming there surprising her. She was excited that Sean walked in. Sean was saying he wasn't going to miss no more first to anything. And he already missed the heartbeat. So Carly was like, what the fuck you mean heartbeat? So they end up telling Carly they was with child. Carly was happy for them. They talked about uh, Jessica Dimes' mom and the, the distance between her and her mama and why her mama mad because of the statement that she made on the reunion about her mama and her past. And I'm like, mm, are you mad of her truth or, you, or is she lying? Because I don't understand that. Maybe we see through the season. Maybe the mama would end up on the show and we'll hear both sides. So I really don't want to go in on the mama when we don't know both sides. Um, what else before I get into Stevie J and his whole fuck shit? I think that was all that. Oh, Tommy meeting up with her brothers. I didn't care. I didn't care. Because like I said, she don't take ownership for the bullshit she does. They, girl, you got them charges and all that or whatever happened to you because you went to her place of business. I'm not talking shit about your sister when you was the fuck wrong. Anyway, moving on to Stevie J. If I missed anything else, my bad. Um, Y'all seen another reviewer, so I, they probably filled in where I missed. Stevie J meets up with his kids, Kirk Jock, Mimi Ty. And he basically tells them, they talk about Kirk and the baby daddy situation. I didn't give a shit. And they talked about, Stevie is about to go to jail for four, possibly four months. If you get sentenced to four I don't know how it work in Cali, but your ass show the hell ain't going to do so. Um, but it's over child support. He owed 1.3. They say that they were going back by his payments that he, um, about the money he made when he was with Diddy, I guess. But he's not making that much money no more. But I'm like, it's more to that story, Stevie. You must ain't paid shit. Um, you wasn't paying shit. Somewhere along them lines, some payments wasn't being made. And maybe interest did, you know, accumulate. Um, do I think you need to go to jail for some kids that's grown? Maybe not, but maybe you should have paid your motherfucking child support. I'm never going to give no parent, no non-custodial parent, the kind of lead way of not paying your child support and then don't think you shouldn't have went to jail. This, do you know how many times that parent that was there probably didn't want to be, want to go to bed, do all type of shit, but they was there with your child and then you wasn't there and you wasn't fucking contributing? Nope, don't feel bad for you. Um, People saying about, oh, he get along with his kids now, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, that's now. That's because they're grown. But can we talk to them about when they wasn't grown? When they was staying with their mama and they was hoping that their daddy came for birthday parties and yada, yada, yada. Come on now. Stevie fucked up somewhere along the line. Maybe he paying for it now because he's on national TV. But he's paying for it. So he's paying for it now. But he fucked up somewhere along them lines. Um, they act like that nigga was going away for four years or something. I don't understand that type of shit. Maybe because I'm from the hood and I got a lot of family members probably went to jail. But they was acting like four years was just like the end of the fucking world. Um, do even need to know if her dad's going or where he going? No, because he's in the entertainment. So you can say he's on a trip. But I'm like, when you're lying on national TV, she going to find out y'all like. That kind of ain't smart either. Um, he wants Mimi to take over his affairs with Estelita and the bitches. He said the bitches is dangerous though. I said, bitch, only Estelita is signed to you. What are you talking about, Stevie? Um, yeah, when he told her to take over affairs, I'm like, but who? Of what affairs? Erica not signed. Just Britney not signed. Just Britney and um, Leela. Is it Leela, Keely, Keela, Keela, somebody. She came, and I didn't understand this conversation either. Because Stevie got in his feelings because he told them that, well, Mimi told, that he was going to jail or whatever. And, um, 
Yeah, Mimi said that how he was going to jail. So, Judge Brittany was like, that's why I didn't sign to this dude, because he's going to jail. He gets in his feelings, and then he tells her if she don't sign the contract, then he's not going to let her have that song. Typical fucking Stevie. Creep, creep, creep-ass Stevie. Pimp-ass Stevie. He got in his feelings, like I said, told her if she didn't sign that, she couldn't have a song. She was like, bitch, wait, hold up, swell up. I wrote that. That's mine. You can't tell me that. He really didn't argue with her ass. He was kind of arguing with her ass, but she was shutting him down so motherfucking cold. Then he was talking about how he wanted to have a showcase. So then she confused me because they were talking about the showcase. And then she, you don't want to sign, but you want to be the headliner. Why wouldn't Espelita be the fucking headliner regardless of her talent? She is the lady of fucking Danger Zone. And that's how Espelita felt. But when he said that Keely and Mimi was going to work together with these girls, I'm like, what? Is Keely stupid? Do she like drama? Because why would you even want to work with him when you know what already is going on? You seen what he said to her. Come on now. This has got to be all for storyline. But y'all all fuck up y'all brands with these fucking storylines. Um, Mimi had all the girls meet up. And let me tell y'all just one thing. I would have fucked just Brittany up. I would have beat the shit up. Now, Erica was out of line. Her and um, Estelita was being petty. Especially with that shenanay comment. They was being petty as fuck. Um, but when you tell me to go take care of my child, bitch... I'm sorry, y'all, and then I get, I just get confused when people go, don't go in on bitches like that, because y'all don't care for Erica, but any other time, y'all be like, ooh, kids are off limits, she shouldn't have said that, that was fucking wrong, but when it's because it's somebody you don't like, you get to, people get to say shit, no, that bitch would have got molly wop, like, for real, for real, you tell me. Something about my motherfucking kid. Bitch, we ain't cool. We ain't friends. Like, you don't know me, ho. Like, uh-uh. I was not here for Jen Brittany. Um, I wasn't here for the way Erica Mena turned up at the end and told all them security off. And I'm just sitting there like, bitch, why do you act like you got that much clout on this show? Mm-mm. When you left, nobody said, damn, I miss Erica. Mm-mm. Because it, it still had drama once you left. So, it wasn't... Oh my God, we're going to go crazy. We're not going to watch it no more because Erica left. No. Mm -mm. Anyway, that was my review. If I missed something, I didn't care. I just didn't care. I'm tired. I did this three fucking times. I don't care anymore. Anyway, like I said, I've had a long fucked up day. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Make sure you guys are supporting somebody. I'm going to put the link to my radio show. It's on Blog Talk Radio. If you have a Blog Talk Radio account, please follow me on there. But you can listen. I'm going to leave the link and then you can listen to tonight's show and any other episode that I have posted this week. I do it each and every night at 8 p.m. only for 30 minutes so you can you can give me 30 minutes of your time you gave me over 18 minutes of your time right now if you watch my video all the way through anyway it's all about support i hope you guys have a great one hope you guys enjoyed this video tell a friend tell somebody share somebody make sure you check out all my youtube fam ashley miller forest rice body blue mike b Lady Nika, Seishan Bradley, James Caldwell, Alexander Rogers, Marcus Williams, Color Me Pink, you know, um, Platinum Rose, Jamila TV. I love all my YouTubers, so make sure you're checking them all out. Jamar84, New Orleans Leo, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.